In this demo, I'm going to show you how to edit the Document Information panel for a content type in SharePoint. When using Office 2010 and SharePoint, you can add certain fields of information that you want users to fill out in their documents. For example, in this document library, I have a content type of Project Documentation, and I would like users to add information about whether it's an internal or external project and the project type. If I create a new document from this document library, I get an information panel with these fields. I can customize this in InfoPath. If I go to InfoPath and choose to create a new form, one of the options is to create a new document information panel. I'm asked to enter the URL of the library I'm interested in. I then get to choose which content type I care about. InfoPath auto-generates the panel for me. I want to edit these two fields so that users can choose elements from a drop-down list. I can do this easily by right-clicking, selecting Change Control and choosing the drop-down list box option. Simple enough, but now I need to define what items to be offered. If I go to the properties of this first list, I have some options. I could enter data manually, or I could choose to get it from an external data source. I have a list in SharePoint that I've called DIP Source. This list contains codes for various project types and dis their display values. For example, this first one is an internal project to do an upgrade, and it has these values of int and ug as project codes. Back in InfoPath, I can choose to add a new data source. I go through the wizard, and I choose DIP source. I choose these four values of column data and just finish off the wizard. Now that I've told InfoPath which data, I need to specify which values I care about. In this list, I want to, dis to store the values of the list 1 column, but display the list 1 display value values. I also want to choose to show only unique display names, as internal and external both occur multiple times. Now I get to my second drop-down list. You might have noticed in my data source list that not all project types are available for both internal and external projects. So I want to display different values in this list based on those selected in the first. I'll go to the properties settings and choose the same data source, but this time I'll add a filter. I'll set the filter so that the value in list 1 in my secondary data source must be equal to the value in the internal external field that's been selected already. I also need to set the values to be those corresponding with list 2. Now I simply publish my form. I'll 
I'll go back to my document library and choose to create a new document. Here I have the document information panel. And I have the data values pulled through from my list. The values in the second list update based on what I've selected in the first. If I wanted to, I could use the wealth of functionality in InfoPath to apply other things such as conditional formatting, data validation and so on to this custom document information panel.